Here is an example of a linear equation that we must solve. So let's remember the steps for solving a linear equation. Step one, distribute. Step two, combine like terms. Step three, get all of your variables to the same side. Step four, isolate the variable. So we see here that we do have an equation. It has an equal sign. And we see that it's linear because all of our exponents are 1. We don't have any exponents higher than that. So let's follow the steps. Step 1, let's distribute. Here we go. We'll distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times 3x is going to be negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is going to be positive 2. We will distribute this negative here. And to help you remember that, let's put a 1 in front of it. So it's like we're distributing a negative 1. So we're going to have negative x. And we're also going to have negative 4. Equals. 2x plus 16. Equal sign drops down, 2x drops down, 16 drops down. Step two, combine like terms. So when I look on the left-hand side of my equal sign, do I have any like terms to combine? Yes, I do. This x and this x will go together. Anything else? Yep. This two and this minus four will go together. Any like terms on the right-hand side? No, the 2x doesn't go together with the 16. So let's go ahead and let's combine them. Negative 6x minus x is going to give me a negative 7x. And plus 2 minus 4 will give me a minus 2. Drop down the equal sign, drop down the 2x, plus 16. All right, have we combined our like terms? Yes, step two is done. Step three, let's get our variables to the same side. You see that we have variables on the left and variables on the right. Let's get them all to the same side. So I'm going to get rid of the x's on the right-hand side so that all of my x's will be on the left-hand side. And how are you gonna get rid of a 2x? Well, it's a positive 2x. So we're going to have to subtract 2x from the right-hand side of the equal sign. And if we do it to the right side, we need to do it to the left side. Drop down your equal sign. On the left, we see negative 7x minus 2x. That is a negative 9x minus 2. And on the right-hand side, 2x minus 2x turns into a 0. So I'm left with just a 16. My third step is complete. I have brought my variables to the same side. Step four, isolate the variable. So let's remember that grumpy old X wants to be all by himself. Okay, he wants everything else to be on the other side of this river. So, first thing to do is to get rid of the minus two. How do we get rid of a minus two? We're gonna add two to both sides. And when we add 2 to both sides of the equal sign on the left-hand side, we will have no more constants. Drop down your equal sign, so I will be left with negative 9x. And on the right-hand side, 16 plus 2 is 18. One more step to get grumpy old x by himself is to divide out negative 9. Negative 9 over negative 9 is a positive 1. So we have a positive 1x, and we don't need to write that 1, it's understood. x equals negative 2. We have solved for x. Smiley face.